Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make an outhouse, which is basically an outdoor toilet. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go on my website and download the template. Once you have all that cut out, then what you're going to need to do is put together. And how that's going to work is you're going to take the back and the two sides. You're going to apply glue right along the edge here, and then we're going to put it right there like that. Okay, so once you have that done, then you're going to take the other side and do the same exact thing. Apply glue along the edge and glue it right there. Okay, so after you have that done, then you want to put some glue on three sides of the bottom. And then you want to put the part that doesn't have the glue on it facing upward. And the parts that have the glue on it, you want to make it even with the bottom. And the sides, just like that. Okay, you can put it on something flat like this and then you can press it down all the way to make sure you have it completely even all the way around and then I would tape it to hold it until it sets up. If you're going to tape it to hold it use your door on the inside so that the sides don't fall in if you did not wait until it dried. Just like that. Alright now you want to take your inside pieces and you want to go ahead and attach some glue on one of them. And then you're going to take this and you're going to put it inside and you're going to go all the way to the floor with it. Let it touch the floor just like that. Okay, so now at this point, you want to tape your toilet seat down, draw a hole in it where you want it to be, and then you're going to notch out this section here. And you want to tape it to this piece, otherwise if you don't, then it's not going to work when you go to do the lid. Okay, so now once you have that where you need it, you want to glue this to this piece. Okay, one more step before you glue it together. You want to take a needle, a head pen, use it as a drill bit, and draw a hole, holding the top and the lid together. Then you're going to put a stick pen through there. Be careful not to split your wood and go really slow and just push it all the way through. Take your time. Okay, be certain not to poke your finger, but you should have it in like that. Now, you can take this end, you can push it flat, just like that, and then the other end, you can cut off. You might want to back it out just a tiny bit. Cut it off and then push it back in. When you backed it out, it basically just made it to where when you pushed it back in, it was even on this side and even on this side so that you don't feel the sharp edge. Okay, and then now your seat should open and close. All right, after you have that, then you want to put the glue on there. Take your notched out piece and glue it there. Right now I have the glue on there. Now I'm going to attach this, make sure my hole is lined up. Make sure I have it straight and even. All the way around, and then the seat should open and close. All right, now you want to clamp that or tape it so that it holds. 
Let it sit clamped for at least 15 minutes. And then once it's completely dry, then you wanna go ahead and sand the inside and the outside of the toilet all along here. All right? Okay, so if you don't know how to make a drill bit with the needle, I can show you a quick, easy way to do it without having to grind it. Okay, so cut it on an angle this way. And then once you have it cut that way, you're going to cut it on an angle the opposite way. Okay, so it should look like that at the end. Now, Dad seems to think if you cut it straight across, that'll do the same thing. I haven't tried that. But it's easier. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And that's cutting it one way and the other way. If you cut it flat, Dad says that'll work too. I got the radio saw, it's a 10 inch blade, and I got it set at around a 21 degree angle. And I got it back here so we can make our cut here all the way up to the end. So you're gonna get stuff in your eyes, but so you try to pull on the other side. <laughs> I, I put a water, wooden block in there, it's just taped in there right now to stabilize it so it doesn't chatter when it's, you cut through it with the saw. Now the other thing you can do is cut this before you actually put it together. That would be the easy way. Okay, so that's what it'll look like there once it's cut. And again, it's easier to do this before you actually put it together, but I didn't think of the roof at that moment, so we didn't do that. Okay, so now you want to tape the bottom that you cut off back on there. Just like this, just tape it on there on the side. That'll help you when you go to sand it to keep it at the angle, unless you're sanding it by hand. have that done then you want to remove the tape that you just had on there and you will be left with this angle take out your spacer that you just put in there clean out all the sawdust and then we'll move to the next part okay so at this point what you want to go ahead and do is put some glue right along the back here and on each side Okay, so now you want to go ahead and put this on top of this. Just like that. Okay, so once you have it like that, then you want to go ahead and glue this to the front and the side. So you're going to put glue on here, here, and across the front of here. Okay, so what I did is I added a support piece underneath just because I was having a hard time getting it in there without breaking it off. And I also added two scrap pieces up here that are like craft sticks that are about one eighth inch thick just so that I didn't have to sand the toilet seat down anymore because it was having a hard time opening up past that point and I wanted it to open all the way once it was in here. So if you want to sand this, you don't need to put this piece here. I didn't want to sand it, so I just left it like that. All right, and now I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to put it back in there the way I just showed you. Okay, so once you have that in there, it's probably best if you're going to paint it to go ahead and paint it now before you put the door in the top one, just because it's going to be kind of hard to get in there once you have that one there. Or you could just leave it natural and rough it up a little bit to look like an old outhouse. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue right along the top edge here. Blot it a little bit with my finger. And then we will attach the roof.
make sure the back is even and the side should hang over just a itty bit just like a fraction of like a paper just like that okay okay so if you want to make a thing to hold your toilet paper you can just bend some copper wire like that and then bend it up a little bit and then put a nail right through there where you could glue it with epoxy okay so what I did is I put a nail through there and I'm gonna take some instead of using epoxy I'm gonna use some of this um, Loctite super glue it'll hold wood and metal and it's made with gel so they have it in two kind which is the liquid form or the gel form one's red one's blue and at the bottom it says ultra liquid or ultra ultra gel the gel doesn't run quite as much but you don't get as much with the gel either so I'm just going to apply some gel to this and then I'm going to attach it just right in here I've pre-drilled my hole so now I'll just hold it and tap it in there okay so now you have your toilet paper holder you might want to apply a little bit more glue to it once you have it in there to hold it in place and if you're gonna let children play with something like this then I would not use wire with a sharp edge Okay, so then you can take your toilet paper and there is going to be a video of toilet paper. I've got one already made, but I just got to put it together and put it on the internet. But there you have it. Toilet paper. You can take it on and off and you can spin it. Just like that. And if you want the toilet paper to actually come off, there's a way you can do that too. But the toilet seat opens and closes. The toilet paper spins and you can replace it and if you want to put a little tiny shelf in there or something you can do that too maybe some magazines and the door you can attach to now the door I have to still cut out the moon I'm gonna use um, either a coping saw to do that or I'm gonna use my little saw that I have at home Okay, so for the hinges, we went ahead and marked it. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill it just a little bit. Not so deep, but just enough to get it started. All right, so now I'm taking a little bit of the gel crazy glue. You can also use epoxy. Just be sure not to use too much of it because it'll come out and it'll go all over the hinge and then the hinge won't open. And this is the tricky part. These nails are really difficult. Get it started. So if you don't pre-drill, you'll have a really hard time getting it in there. Okay, make sure they're straight and then tap them in the rest of the way. The door. It's always great to have the back of a nail when you're doing something this small it helps you get it in there where your fingers can't reach. And a finishing nail works perfect because it's got a set mark in there and the end of the nail, if you can see it. See how it's got like the little hole? It's that already in there. And that's just a finishing nail. That's a dimple. It's a number 10 finishing nail. Okay, at this point you want to put it on your door and have the hinges out like this so that you can mark where they need to go. mark both of them okay so what we did is we took some scraps laid it underneath of the door these are just scrap pieces that we cut off of it and now we're marking the hinges 
where they're going to go. We're going to install them the same exact way we just showed you how to do the front. Okay, so the door does open and close, but if you can see, it's kind of offset a little bit because of how the hinge is bent. So we're going to show you real quick how you can fix that. Just take a block of wood. Don't close the door all the way. Just close it pretty close to it. And get the block of wood right over top of where you're, you are. And give it a few good taps. Right there. And right there. And the door should open and close. No a little more right there. Need a little more right there. Okay. Okay. And then there you have it. It'd be a good idea to put those hinges on before you glue any of this project together. But this is the first time, so we're learning. Okay. So over kind of person, not an under. The toilet seat lifts up and it closes. The door closes. And what my dad was saying is it would be easier to put these hinges on before you put this side panel here on just because it's really hard to get in here. However, when you put it on first, you also are going to have the hard time getting this in here. So pick your battle. Hey guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.